All right, we're going to show you another one, another cool roof idea here that I'm working on. It's the first time I've done it, so we're not sure how it's going to turn out. But I also cannot take credit for this technique. I learned it while talking to um, the Bar Mills table at the Fine Scale Modelers Expo last fall in, in Altoona. But basically, it is a metal, it's a metal type of roof, and it is done with just cardboard that comes with the kits or you know, just eight by you know, eight and a half by eleven sheets you can get at the craft store. Um, but usually this roofing material comes in all kits, at least the cardboard part. Uh, what we did was we glued these one eighth, or not even one eighth, they're smaller than that, they're like sixteenth of an inch, um, wood balsa or basswood strips every six feet across the top of this roof. And uh, once they were dry and cut to length, I took the I got this at Lowe's. It was like four bucks for a roll of this sheet metal duct tape. Um, it's real metal. It's like an aluminum foil tape. Uh, a couple dollars. It was pretty cheap. Cut it to length, and I taped it to the dried roof with the wood on it. And what I did was, where's my ruler? Well, now I can't find my ruler. But I used the edge of the ruler to kind of go over it this way, smooth it out, and then the corner of the ruler I used to tuck in, and I used the ruler again, tuck it in that corner, smooth it across, tuck it in. So I did it the whole way across, um, and then once I was done with it, I took a jar, let me get the jar, of Kills, I don't know if I can get it in the shot here, Kills, uh, like stain blocker, just a primer, little jar of it, I got it at Walmart, it's dented, I got it cheap dented, because it was a dented one on the shelf, they gave me a good deal on it, and I painted that on top of the foil tape, let that dry, it took about an hour or so to dry, didn't take too long, once that was dry, I just took my flat black spray paint, spray painted on top of that, and I also mixed it with a rust colored spray paint that I have um, really, really far out, I held it pretty far back, and then I hit it again with another coat of black, really fine. So you can see that it's not pure black. It's kind of got like a rust color in it. <clears throat> so once that's dry, it looks like this. To get this look, this was kind of an experiment. I didn't know how this was going to look until about two minutes ago, which is why I hopped on this video. I just got a foam brush. You can get these really cheap at the craft store. A couple cents. Probably in a big bag of them for a couple cents. And I got a jar of mineral spirits. It's going to be hard to get it all in a shot here. But dip my foam brush into mineral spirits. You don't need it to be soaked. So I got a little bit of extra off. Actually, I soaked it way too much. But what I did was I just started to go like this. And rub it back and forth on this um, piece of sheet metal roofing. Let me turn that light off so there's not as much glare. And you can see that it starts to reveal the metal beneath it. Um, and what's cool about it when you're putting it down, the metal doesn't, the sheet metal tape doesn't go down without any crinkles. It's I didn't want it to go down perfectly flat anyways because it adds some texture. But as you rub this down on the tape with the mineral spirits, it starts to reveal the metal texture beneath it but it doesn't get all of the paint out from inside the cracks. Um, you probably would if you went really hard at it, but I don't want to achieve that look. I want there to look like there's dirt in the cracks. So give it a good scrubbing with this sponge brush. It's like a scratch off lottery ticket. It's exciting, except I win this time because it looks awesome. Um, and then before the mineral spirits dry, I also actually kind of went over the tops of these strips just to reveal some of the metal top. All right, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Seal this up so I don't spill my mineral spirits real quick. And then the last step that I did, since it's kind of streaky and still wet with mineral spirits, is I just took a crumpled, nasty crumpled paper towel and I blotted the top of the sheet metal like this and 
and it gave it like a little bit of a, a rougher look and it dried it up quicker. But then the sections that there was some paint and mineral spirits still left on it. Actually, I'm going to go like that real quick. Get some more texture on it. But blotting it kind of gives it that like roughed up look. Uh, but then the cracks still have all that dirt and grime jammed in there. And like I said, I got this technique from the expo by talking to the Bar Mills booth. And I haven't been brave, been brave enough to do it yet, but I am actually ecstatic with how this turned out. I'm probably going to go back over it with some rust colors, uh, maybe some acrylic rust colored paints, kind of make it look like it's a rusty roof because it's going to go on my fair cloth oyster plant, which is rusty, and it won't look very good with a shiny sheet metal roof with rusty walls. Um, but I am excited with how this turned out. First time I've ever done it. I had to share it with you guys. I hope you like it. I will post another update about it whenever um, I put the rust colors on it because I don't know how that's going to turn out. So I want to test that before I show everyone. But um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this one.